Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we created a speak function for Sophia allowing her to speak whatever text we provide. For example, I passed a text, hello I am Sophia, I am an AI assistant and Sophia spoke it out loud. Today, we will create a speech recognition function. This function will allow Sophia to listen to whatever we say, recognize the speech and then speak it back to us. Before we start coding the recognition function, we need to install two important modules. Here these speech recognition and then PyAudio. This module will handle the recognition of speech from our microphone and convert it into text. This PyAudio library is a requirement for this speech recognition module to function properly so we need to install it as well. So first here copy this command and here open the terminal and here first activate the virtual environment env sophia script activate so this module has been installed now install this okay now these modules has been installed and now kill the terminal now first import the module into our project, import speech recognition as SR and now here create a function and this function name will be take command and the parentheses are empty because we are not passing any argument to this function like we passed here text. So these will be empty and this take command function will listen to our voice through the microphone, convert it to text and then return that text so Sophia can respond. Okay. And in this function now here initialize the variable r equal sr. sr is this module and then here write dot recognizer. This recognizer is a class from speech recognition module. This class is essential because it helps us to recognize the speech. Okay, now let's use our microphone as a source for the audio input. We will do this using a with statement which ensures that microphone is properly opened and closed during the operation. So here type with sr.microphone as source. In this line, sr.microphone is used to specify that audio will come from the microphone and this as source means we are assigning this microphone input to the variable source. Now we want to give some feedback that the program is ready to listen. So here we will print listening and after that we need to fine tune the recognition process. First, we will adjust the pause threshold, which is the duration of silence that will indicate the end of a phrase. So here write R dot pause threshold and here write equal 1. And this one is a second. Okay. So setting this pause threshold to 1 means that if you pause for more than 1 second, the recognizer will assume you are done speaking. Additionally, here we will adjust for any noise to make sure the recognition is accurate. So here type r.adjust for ambient noise and here source. This line will listen for a moment to surrounding noise and adjust the recognizer accordingly. Now it's time to listen the audio from microphone. So here type audio equal r.listen and here write source. comma timeout which is 10 and then phrase time limit this is 6 here timeout 10 means that the listening will stop after 10 second if there is no speech and this frame time limit 6 means that each phrase should be no longer than 6 second once we have the audio we will try to recognize and convert it to text using google speech recognition api so here type Try print and then query 
equal and here type r dot recognize google then audio and language equal en then here print f user said and here pass this same variable query so in this try block this line is where conversion happens we are using google web speech api here and we are specifying english as language and recognized text will be stored in this query and if the speech fails for any reason we will handle the exception by returning an empty string so here type accept exception as e and here return empty string and finally here return the recognized text in lower case to ensure consistency so here type return this query dot lower and that's it we have successfully created a function now here call the function and here create a variable text equal take command and pass this variable text first delete this and here pass this variable and this text variable will be passed here as a parameter so now test it and check if it is working or not okay so here i made a mistake here first create brackets as this is class microphone save the file and now test it again so here you can see sophia is listening so here you can see sophia is listening so here you can see whatever we said here it has been printed as well as sophia spoke it okay so that's it for this part if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and if you like the video then please hit the like button and you can also give suggestions for more features in our assistant on which we will try to work on thank you see you next time